Hello guys, hope you are doing well. I'm back from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Today's video is for the vintage Marans 5420, I believe. Uh, they manufactured during the mid 70s. Uh, this is the top loading tape deck. Okay, before starting it, uh, let me show you the weather outside. It did snow the whole night, maybe seven to ten centimeters snow it is pretty cold outside real feel is minus 11 or minus 12 degrees celsius um, the highest temperature already reached plus one okay whoever is driving today in this weather please be careful uh, if you are not comfortable to drive, uh, the road conditions are not that good. Uh, it's slippery, slushy. So if you are not comfortable, please stay home. And if you have to drive, please be careful. Anyway, I got this 5420 the day before yesterday from Niagara Falls, uh, along with the two three two five receiver i had the same receiver same model and sold it after recapping the day before yes uh sorry the day before the christmas so i got this marans two three two five with the um, cover wooden cover that's uh i believe the model number is wc20 or 22 Anyway, I forgot. Beside that, got a electronic driven dual turntable that is also fully working. And this receiver is in fully working condition. However, I may need to replace the lamps inside. It is working properly. I uh, played the turntable the phono stage is beautiful all I need to do just clean with the deoxid d5 and f5 on the balance so and the pots so I, I will open it later and I'll upload another video uh, later if needed I may need to take this to for service professional service I don't know yet, but it is playing perfectly. Anyway, so today's video is for the Marans 5420 top loading cassette deck. You can see options, headphones, mic one, mic two. This is amazing. You can see the condition. It is dirty, all those and i'm getting the smell of heavy smoke like cigarettes unfortunately uh, when i uh, reached niagara falls the address i found it was an abandoned house single family house the front door was closed it was like a uh, foreclosure by bank it was like that and after entering from the back uh, the seller asked me to go to the back after parking the driveway in the driveway um, so i was feeling anxious because whoever uh, if you watch already watched or did watch or haven't watched the breaking bad tv series it was like jc's place and inside heavy smell of smoke and unfortunately i found the seller she was very young maybe uh, mid 20s and her boyfriend was also in the same age and both of them i believe what i understood after talking with them both of them were drug addicted 
anyway that's not my concern but this is very unfortunate and i'm not sure whether they were the actual owner of these um maran's gears including the dual turntable anyway so this is the condition uh, i need to open this up and have to clean after cleaning i'll show you the latest video okay so have to open one two three four from the sides i'm not sure whether i can open it um, whether i have to uh, open any screws so i can see there's a stand here to keep the tape deck in the like tilt position you can see the manufacturer's details that's um <clears throat> let me show you just a second okay um there's a stand underneath so you can keep the tape deck like this position it is nice fascinating so i'm gonna open four screws two from here two from there i'm not sure whether i have to take any other screws off let me show you the back of the 5420 it's beautiful it's dirty but it's beautiful amazing after playing it uh, i will play it just a second yeah uh, i think i have to take two screws off from here um so I will open it and I'll try to clean as much as possible. It is fully functional. Um, I'll demagnetize the head as well. It's, I believe, two heads. Okay. All right. Uh, let me hook up the power cable. Let's turn it on. Beautiful, nice. Currently I'm using 5020 tape deck. It's also same, um, you can see the view meters. It is another vintage from Marans. So this one is working perfectly. Uh, after servicing, I'll understand whether I need to take this for professional servicing or not. Um, let me open the 5420. You can see the top loading tape deck. Let me put one tape from here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Forward. You can see the meter. Play. You can see the view meters are working. Amazing. Okay, let's open this up. Okay guys, I just opened the lower cover, bottom cover of the 5420 uh, cassette deck of Marans. And you can see the condition, it's very dirty. Uh, I believe this is the first time uh, someone opened this tape deck. 
you can see the mechanism here the belts dry belts seems okay but need some cleaning lubrication grease maybe not sure but I'm trying to open the side uh, screws they are just rotating I couldn't open except two of them you can see here two screws are here but unfortunately I couldn't take off two more screws I opened this one and from the other side I was trying to yeah this one they're just rotating anyway so this is the lower part of the Marans 5420 you can see all those information for calibration as I always said I'm not a tech or professional person I don't have any idea except some basic cleaning so let's see if I could open the frame and clean the top part the silver body of the top part let's see okay guys I'm using the isopropyl 99% alcohol and this cotton swab to remove the old grease those are already um, hard have to remove these first then have to give new fresh grease for smooth operation uh, of the 5420 this you can see the old greases are coming off by using the 99% isopropyl alcohol here I'm removing the old grease it is time consuming but I like it and easy to do just the basic servicing the belt they need to replace their kind of loose so I may take it to the professional person most probably at Whitby Audio the text name is Chris at Whitby Audio he is very much uh, very gentleman and very much knowledgeable what he is doing he used to work at the Infinity at one time he is maybe 65 or something and excellent person <clears throat> okay guys successfully I opened the top cover after checking it very carefully I found <clears throat> this is the main uh, machine this is the top cover of the 5420 so after checking it I found uh, the side panel the side panel I was trying uh, to open the screws I successfully did open two screws and I was hearing something inside and that was these bolts let me show you these bolts came off after removing the side screws so these were attached here on the body okay there's another one this is the top cover of the 5420 that's one 
screw it, it was attached with those bolts and this is the frame the actual uh, machine so after carefully checking i found four screws one two three four three of them is same size you can see one is smaller and i took this off from the bottom part that were attached with the frame here now all i have to do just uh, put them back and clean as much as possible uh, with the deoxid d5 and the front view meter with the Windex or glass cleaner. So this is the 5420. However, after cleaning it, and I'll give some uh, grease, new grease here. Here, you can see the mechanism to move. And I'll see whether it is giving proper um, service, like the actual rewind forward. Everything is working, but I'm kind of, uh, you know, after all these years later, I think I'm the one who opened this 5420. So the bell seems okay, but it's better to replace them. I believe that would be a good idea. Anyway, I'm coming back after cleaning this 5420. I have to clean this part as well. This is the, it was, just came off from here. I'll just use the dishwasher soap, liquid soap to clean it and also I'll clean, I'll try to clean as much as possible the front one, the top cover. <clears throat> okay guys, after cleaning it uh, inside and gave the new grease and beside the mechanism and I found the belts they have to replace. So other than that, uh, everything is working fine. Just put it back, everything. Uh, washed these uh, knobs here. Have to, okay, this one is going here. And the smaller ones are going here. So beside this, okay. That's the power button. So everything is working fine. Uh, it's playing and, but uh, without the drive belts, uh, I think three of them, most probably three of them uh, need to replace. So I will take it to Whitby Audio to Chris. As I mentioned, he's uh, very experienced and extraordinary gentleman. He loves to talk about the stereo gears and music. So if you live nearby Whitby or if you get the chance, uh, if you're living uh, somewhere at Toronto, if you need the service from Chris for your gear, audio gear, you may take your units to him okay so you can see everything is working except the rewind forward everything is working so I need to replace the belts so other than that you can see it's moving but let me check with one tape just a second Still, 
It is snowing the whole day. Be careful out there. If you don't com feel comfortable, uh, rather to stay at home. Okay, just a second, eject. Okay, let's play. You can see it's playing, but not in perfect shape. So the bells need to replace all of them. Everything is clean uh, as much as possible. I tried my best. So there was stain here. Uh, I tried my best, as I said. Some scratches are here. You can see. I couldn't. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So you can see the view meters. It's playing. Only the bells required and um, i have the demagnetizer tool but i'll tell chris to do everything you can see it's forwarding but not in perfect shape all right guys thanks again for watching thanks for your time uh if you like this video hit the like button if you haven't subscribed my channel you may subscribe it's up to you and if you are already a subscriber thanks for your time and thanks for your support uh the, today's video is for the marans 5420 tape deck and it has the cover that is beautiful even though it is it has a lot of scratches but I'll try to uh, clean this as much as possible. I'll try. But this is it. This is not available uh, on this model in the marketplace. Um, I didn't see the front cover, only the tape deck. And current market price is going approximately between 1250 to 1300 Canadian dollar for 5420. All right. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.